Hey guys, what's up? Rajat here from VFX World. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. Guys, in this video, I'll show you how you can create this amazing product rendering process inside of 3ds Max by using V-Day. So without wasting any time, let's get started. <laughs> So guys, right now we are in my system and as you can see that I have this render and this one and this one as well. So these are the three different different style render. So let me explain you that what is this three. So this is exactly uh, like you know, bright background and the dark material and this one is a complete white and white crystal clear material which is look like a complete real so much like polished kind of thing and this one is in black background but a lighter texture or material you can call but this two material is almost same difference between these two is a lighting difference so let's go to the 3ds max first so right now we have a fresh clean model all the settings are in default right now so basically if you notice that this is the basic path of this model and this is the chain which should be also in uh, sharp silver so uh, first of all before doing anything product rendering you have to create a floor so for floor i am creating by using this plane now go to the top view and drag it like this very simple it's not a high detailed floor or something like that just move it a little inside and press f4 for this edge face mode and after that what i'll do i'll uh, decrease the all this uh, let's create this decrease this one and then right click and then convert to editable poly and after that select this one and click here and simply drag it to the top like this this is really easy and after that select this edge and right click and then chamfer like that now what chamfer did chamfer is doing this edge to really carve something something like that so when the light will fall here it will create a good effect for this kind of background then press this and our this angle is right now done now if you want to increase this you can increase this uh, in a side view something like this because when the camera will come maybe it can see okay after that set your camera position every time before doing anything so i'm setting my camera angles something around this one this one is good an angle and after that press ctrl c to create a camera so now we have created our camera successfully so this is our camera now uh, the material and the lightings and all so first of all i have to do a cool material so in v-ray just go here and uh, in v-ray we have to create a v-ray material but before doing anything we have to create a base material which is no reflection nothing it's just a base material then we'll add lighting on that and i preferred before doing anything you have to create a lighting setup then do your material purpose and all so first of all go to the settings and change everything to render to V-Ray. So I've select V-Ray next to V-Ray update like one, three is to one. These are V-Ray next newer version update. And then simply close because I don't need it right now. So now uh, this select this flow. And if you have this bar, you just click this option by selecting any object. It will automatically convert it into V-Ray material and it's already applied here as well. So now go to the settings again. You have to change your active shader mode. So right click and uh, assign renderer and go to this shader mode and the material editor should be also this video next so now what happened this is now in video next option and after that select this floor and you can add some reflections something like that and the floor colors it's a little brighter so i'm creating first this bright material and all now go to for performance mode let's create the standard mode now you can see everything clearly now i have to add the materials on these areas as well so first of all select this one and click here and select this so automatically it will apply see it's already applied so now i want to create this as a silver material so for silver i want a not a pure white but i want a something something white or dark kind of thing so i want and uh, this much color is good enough so press ok so after that select all this okay now it's all selected and, and after that let's create the selection method like a uh, chain so whenever we need the selection we just have to go this and just simply just if you click here anything you can see this chain option just click here so it will select so these are the shortcuts tips and tricks for the studios max and after that we have to apply a same material which we use for this one as well so just click is this material and just press this one so it's already applied here now we want a something different little bit with this 
so select this and apply this one and now we have to create our diamond material which is the most important material so before that I have to select this one and apply it and after that the diamonds and all so select all this diamond by pressing control and simple like this so now all the diamonds are selected and selected a material and press this one and click this one as well so it's converted into vray material and after that if you notice that a few things are there so it should go back so from here uh, let's create uh, this from local view so that you can move it to this perspective and it should go here and this is fine and after that apply one material for this one as well and this one left so select and create like this okay so now all the materials are applied here successfully now you have to create our lighting setup to click this image a really amazing in a realistic way so i used a uh, hdri lighting setup so for that what you have to do you just have to go this light option and uh, from here video light and you can use any light you can use a dome light or any light so i preferred video normal light so go to this uh, front view and simply click simply like this it's not a big deal that how much big you should create this light and all it's just just a reference kind of thing so that let's click it around like this and after that just simply for the first render just go to this render options and after that you have to select some settings so before that go to custom and i change it to around 1920 by 1920 should be like higher resolution hd and uh, go to this vda and over there you can see there are so many options is called like type and which is like progressive and bucket i prefer bucket because bucket is giving you the most better output see the bucket image sampler is very very interesting and after that this is in default format you can use it to right click and switch it to all in export mode so now all the settings will go to export mode yes now it's all in expert mode and after that go to the gi and turn on this ambient occlusion this is the most important step and this is the basic setup i will do more settings here so for that before i'm just going to this option and click this show safe frames something like that so now this is our basic frame so now what you have to do you just have to increase our camera to go a little inside something like that just uh, press f9 to create a render so let's see how much it will look like see it's too much exposed because the light intensity is 30 which is too much high so for that you can use this stop option and then you can use this ipr start rendering and for that what happened you can see the live rendering process if you have a good cpu then only you should do otherwise it can be crash now for the light setups so go to tools from here you should check this uh video light lister option here so these are the lights will be visible here so now select your light from here or else you can change it from here as well so now change the intensity to make around 10 so this is our one point light setup just one light only here so let's make around two so see this is our basic lights which is uh created by vray and just a basic simple light which is no reflection nothing here in this uh, material is and all so when the, it looks really amazing right now you have to do you have to create something really interesting for creating this diamonds and all okay so let's come to point first of all after creating this lights and all we have to go to this no map option for this hdri map so just stop this and go to this no map option here so when you click this no map option when window will pop up here and we have to go down to vray and after that you should select this vray hdri double click here it will go to this browser so these are my two hdri i using uh, this one first for creating a cool light setup so when you import it here just click drag and drop it to this material option and just press instance because whenever you will update anything it will update with this light as well just press ok now why i drag and drop it here so that i can control it from here now go to this mapping type from this to spherical and now it's done now if you press this pvr and uh, let's see see the light setups are completely changed now you should look like it's very dark kind of thing i know but uh, trust me it will uh, create some good environmental output if you want to change you can click here and change it in any time now see the light setups are also changed here as well okay now the coming point is let's stop it and uh, let's start our reflections and all with creating uh, many details so first of all let's select the chain one select from here so these are my chains which is this material and i want to be a little dark kind of thing so go here and move it it's dark no don't create any dark material complete dark so press ok and after that go to reflection 
make it full value press ok and glossiness should be fun final like one and after that you can see this option called freshness reflection you should always turn on this one now this is a metal okay so then metal you should on this metalness from zero to one this is the most important step now i will come more so for this one as well select this model and for this one also i want little more something like that it's good enough press ok and the reflection should be the same full value and metalness full one and obviously you should select this reflect on backside for this one also reflect on backside and after that let's select this materials which is the diamond material the most important you should select the diffuse color to be full white reflection one like full value and refraction should be full so that it create a cool uh, like glass kind of thing now the most important thing is called this fractional reflection which is this one you should turn on and now guys if you go to google you can see these are the ior options so what is ior it's ior is separate separate values for separate separate uh, like glass have separate ior value water have separate ior value so diamond also have separate ior value so go here and go to d option if you want this site link is in description box below so now see i have these many options here these have so many options so when you click this diamond diamond ior value is 2.418 so what you have to do you have to select this option and select 2.418 this is our basic thing which you have to do now this is not a metal so don't use this metal option and after that for refraction also you should select this ior to 2.418 ior this is the most most important thing now click this background so that you can see this is your basic metal and all so uh, sorry this is your basic uh, diamond and after that if uh, you if you want to click this one also this is also in same material and let's click this material so let's see what is this one i think uh, this one is for let's color change so that you can understand that which one you are this is the backside one so make it around this white and make it to reflective surface like full reflection is good enough yeah this is good after that select this material and uh, let's see which one is this one so i think yeah this one is the base things and all so if you want to create something really amazing for this you can create multiple colors i prefer let's click this kind of blue kind of thing and uh, the reflection always should be higher and you you want to little more glossiness here yep this is fine press c here and after that you have to press the render button so just press this render for ipr now let's see if you notice this already looks just amazing but the lights are very less so that's why it's not looking good so let's wait a little bit so that it will come okay guys so now if you notice that this rendering is looks just amazing but still we have missing something which is a lighting lighting is always important for any kind of product rendering or something anything if you want to create so now what you have to do just make it really interesting so just click here i just have to change my lighting to this one because i choose this one for this light see this is looking just amazing and after that when you increase the light value from here overall multi from here let's make it five so now they see the lightings are increasing and if you notice that this this metal is not look like a complete metal it's completely look like a glass kind of thing right so for that what you have to do select this material like this so select from here like 1.350 is good enough so now if you notice the reflections are a little bit changed something not higher value but it's a little bit changed now if you notice this is only black areas are visible why i'll tell you because we already added this in environment this this image is in environment but it's not here as well so for that what you have to do just stop this and go to this settings option oh sorry just go to the settings options and if you have this environment options click here just turn on all this like this and after that drag and drop here so that whatever will change it should change everywhere and uh, it's like that and after all go to this environment option as well and simply drag and drop so all have our in same environment now when you press this one you can see something really changed see now it's look a different kind of output so this blue is little higher so let's decrease this blue value to let's make around let's make around black that is good okay so now see the previous render and the current renders are different see this is now look like just amazing so now go to this floor i want to this floor little darker so make it little dark and the reflections should go little high create something this from black to let's make around white so now you can see it's look like a complete silver material right now it's look amazing 
and change it as well for this simply click here and uh, change this one to this white like this and after that um, change this to 1.350 sorry 1.350 and uh, yep now it's also look like a complete metal now this is look like a, a diamond but something is missing which is the glitter which will come by using this ABB number so let me show you how what is ABB number so go to this Google if you notice this is ABB 50 this is ABB 15 this is ABB 5 which is means see these are the difference okay this is the first is second and third so less the number higher the increasing value so just click here and if you notice also that something is already added here which is the main glitter kind of thing if you can see so let's uh, wait for the almost find kind of rendering and now what you have to do just decrease this light something around 4 so that these lights are very high uh, lights 3.5 is good enough 3.5 yup this is fine now if you notice this is completely look like a premium output with this cool glitters and all so let's let's render it for the one time with this glitters so let's see how it's look like select all and stop and then just render okay so it will take some time to come with this render output so you have to wait for that so guys i didn't render it completely because it takes so much time but i can show you that this much changes will be happen when you click this abb number so if you notice this is completely now look like a diamond so these are the three renders and i hope guys you really enjoyed this tutorial and if you didn't don't forget to subscribe my channel vfx world also you have to follow us on our social media handles like facebook instagram twitter and linkedin all links are in description box below and guys uh, thank you for watching this amazing tutorial from vfx world and i will see you in my next video till then have fun stay healthy keep rocking vfx world